What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over Google Ads call campaigns. With call campaigns, you can create call only ads so when someone searches one of your targeted keywords on a mobile device, they can click on your advertisement and call you directly. To get started, what you wanna do is set up conversion tracking for phone calls that last a certain period of time. So we're gonna to go to tools and settings and under measurement, we're gonna click on conversions. Now this is where all of our conversions are. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new conversion action and we wanna create a phone calls conversions action. So we're gonna choose the top, we're gonna to choose phone calls here and then the top one calls from ads using call extensions or call only ads. Now keep in mind, you can use call extensions on a standard search campaign where people are clicking through to your website and then your mobile call extensions will also show up to allow people to click to call you directly. So if you wanna give people the option of going to your website or giving you a phone call, then you wanna use a standard search campaign with call extensions. In this case, we're creating call only ads. So on mobile devices, it's only gonna show up as a click to call advertisement. So we're gonna choose this at the top and click on continue. We don't need to change the goal and action optimization. It's gonna be a phone call lead. And then down here, we need to name our conversion. So let's just say 90 second phone call. Okay, so we can set a value for every single phone call. So if you do have data for your business where you know that you get a certain number of phone calls every single month and those phone calls turn into X amount of dollars for your business, you can set that up here. You can estimate it if you want. So if you say, you know, every single phone call for my business is worth about $50, then we can set that as our value for every single conversion. Otherwise, you can just say, don't use a value for this conversion action and it's just gonna count each individual conversion. So we're gonna use the same value for each conversion and set it at $50 and say each phone call from these ads is worth $50 to my business. So we're gonna keep scrolling down here. For count, we wanna choose one because every single phone call is not gonna be considered a separate lead. We wanna just use one because if someone calls us twice, that's really only one lead because it's only one customer. So we're gonna choose one here and then we're gonna go down here to call length and this I'm gonna change to 90 seconds. So what we're saying is, if, a, if someone calls us through one of our advertisements and they're on the phone for 90 seconds or longer, then it's gonna count as a conversion. Click through conversion window is gonna be 30 days. We'll keep that as is. And then attribution model, it has data driven here. But in this case, I'm just gonna choose last click because we're just gonna choose every time someone clicks on our advertisement and then has a 90 second phone call. We don't need to track them through the entire process. So we're just gonna do last click here. Data-driven can be much more useful if you are sending people to your website, but in terms of just driving phone calls, we're just gonna use when someone clicks on our advertisement, whether they convert or not. So we're gonna click on create and continue, and now you can see we have our 90 second phone call conversion action created. So we can click on done here, and as you can see, we have our 90 second phone call set up here. So we're gonna scroll down here to custom goals, and we're gonna add another custom goal, and we're gonna name it the same thing, so 90 second phone call. And what we're gonna choose from here is this 90 second phone call conversion action we just created, and we're gonna click on save. Okay, so now we have a new custom goal created which uses this conversion action for 90 second phone call. So let's come back to our Google Ads account, let's come to the campaign screen, and we're gonna click on the plus sign to create a new campaign. Now the first thing you're gonna to have to choose is your campaign objective. For a Google Ads call campaign, your objectives you can choose are sales, leads, or create a campaign without a goals guidance. I would recommend choosing leads, and then what we wanna do is we wanna add a goal down here, and you're gonna see our custom goal, 90 second phone call. So that's gonna be the goal that we're optimizing for, and then we're gonna remove these other conversion goals. So you can use multiple conversion goals here if you have multiple conversion goals you wanna optimize for. We're just gonna be optimizing for this phone call and our main goal is gonna be to drive phone calls and drive specifically 90 second phone calls that will turn into leads for our business. So what we're gonna do next is click on continue. The only option here as far as the campaign type is gonna be a search campaign. So we're targeting people who are searching keywords in the Google search engine with their mobile devices. So select the ways you'd like to reach your goal. We're gonna choose phone calls. And what we need to do now is enter our phone number here. Now this is an important step obviously because you need to put your phone number, but you also need to have your phone number in some place on your website where Google Ads can read it. So if you see here on Surfside PPC, I have call us today and I have a fake phone number here, but on my contact us page. So we're gonna copy this phone number right here. 
we're gonna come back over and we're gonna paste that phone number right there. So you wanna keep it in the same exact format as Google Ads or as close as possible to it. So we have our United States as the country, our phone number here, and now let's name our campaign. For this specific tutorial, I'm just gonna pretend I'm creating the Surfside Plumbing Company. So we have Surfside Plumbing, and that's gonna be my campaign name. My goal is going to be to try to get people to click on my call only ads and give me phone calls so that I can land new clients for plumbing services. Hey everyone, thank you for your support watching my videos over the years. If you wanna to continue to support my channels while also using some of the best marketing tools, you can try either SCMrush or SpyFu if you haven't already. Both are great PPC and SEO tools. If you use the link at the bottom here for either one, they are affiliate links, so it will help support my channel and support Surfside PPC. If you're not interested, no problem. Back to the video. So we're gonna click on continue. And for bidding, it's gonna say, what do you wanna focus on? So we have a couple different options here. The main two you really wanna choose from are conversions or conversion value. Since I set that every single 90 second phone call is worth $50 for my business, we're gonna choose conversion value. That's gonna be what we're optimizing for. Now, automatically, the campaign is going to use the maximized conversion value bid strategy. What we can do is set a target return on ad spend and just make sure our target return on ad spend is positive. So if we set our target ROAS at 150%, what we're saying is that for every $100 we spend, we want to drive $150 in revenue back to our business. So that would be a $50 profit. So that's going to be what we're going to choose for our bidding strategy. And we're going to click on next. Now it's gonna be campaign settings. So we're gonna do the search network and we can include Google search partners as well. What we wanna do next is set our location. So let's just say, for example, I am serving the Nashville area. So I would enter Nashville here and you can either choose something like a market. So it's gonna be a larger area around Nashville or I could just choose the city of Nashville. In this case, I'll choose the market. So we'll say, if we come to advanced search here, we'll say I serve this entire area around Nashville. So we're gonna, Keep that as our targeting. Come down here to location options and make sure you're targeting people with presence, not presence or interest, because presence or interest will target people in, regularly in, or people have shown interest in your targeted locations. Since people are traveling to Nashville all the time and probably showing interest in Nashville all the time, I don't want my ads to show up for them if they're searching for plumbing services and they're nowhere near the Nashville area. So we're just gonna choose presence, people in or regularly in our targeted locations. Exclude, we're gonna keep as is because we're not excluding anybody from this campaign. We're just targeting that specific area and people in it. So you wanna choose your language targeting next. In this case, I'm gonna choose English. Now, audience segments. One of the things you can do here is click on audience segments and just come down here to search and we're just gonna search plumbing. Now you can see here what they are actively researching or planning and you can see plumbing services. So if somebody's looking for plumbing services, they're gonna be put into this in-market segment. We can click on this audience and since we're choosing observation down here, it's not gonna narrow the reach of our campaign. If you choose targeting, then you're only gonna target people in that in-market segment. I would highly recommend just keeping this as observation and then we can always adjust the bids for this selected audience segment. So we're gonna choose that here for our audience segments. And for dynamic search ads, we're not gonna be using dynamic search ads, so we're not gonna change anything there. And we're gonna click on next. Okay, so next is gonna be building out your search campaign. So we're gonna start with our first ad group. In this case, I'm only gonna create one ad group and I'll show you how I kind of come up with some different ad groups. If I were creating a campaign like this, let's just say I want one ad group with plumbing services. So you can enter a URL here to scan for keywords on your website. Since I don't have an actual plumbing website, I'm not gonna enter a URL here. So what we can do is enter products or services to advertise. So I'm advertising plumbing services. So we'll get keyword suggestions. And you can see all of these different keywords here. So some of these different keywords, something like water heater repair, if that's something that you do as a plumbing company, then copy this keyword. I would either open a notepad or a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet and keep track of some of these different keywords that you're not gonna put in this ad group. So in this ad group, I just wanna make sure I'm targeting keywords related to plumbing, plumbers, plum plumbing services, local plumbers near me. So people who are actively searching for a plumber. So we're gonna take these keywords like 24 hour plumber near me, obviously only target this keyword if you do offer 24 hour plumbing services. So something like water heater replacement, we would copy this keyword, put it in our water heater repair. 
Now with something like Roto Rooter near me, you can create a separate ad group with just competitor keywords. So any of these top competitors that are large plumbing companies. So I'm not gonna put them in this main ad group here. We're gonna do 24 hour plumber near me. Now again, leak detection, that would be another ad group. So we're up to four already. So we would have leak detection. We would have hot water heater if we do service those. And then we would have a competitor ad group. So we're gonna put this in a separate ad group. And then let's just focus on some of these different keywords. Local plumbers near me. Again, drain cleaning is another one. Hot water heater repair. City plumbing near me. So we'll get rid of all those. Drain cleaning. So all of these are different options that you have that you can target in your campaigns as long as you do all of those things. So if it's a service that your company does, then you might as well target those keywords. So we have plumbing repair, plumbers in my area. We're not going to be doing some pump insulation, but again, another idea there. Plumbing companies, a few more down here that we're going to get rid of. Best plumbing, plumbing and heating, affordable plumbing. So we'll do affordable plumbing and best plumbing. And then what we can do is just make sure we have plumbing services as one of the keywords. So plumbing services. And do we have plumber near me? Okay, so let's make these all phrase match keywords. We're gonna put quotes around all the keywords. I highly recommend using phrase match keywords just to make sure you're getting the most targeted traffic. Broad match keywords can be useful and Google Ads is gonna tell you since we're using smart bidding to use broad match to get more conversions at a similar or better ROI. With broad match bidding, or broad match keywords, we're gonna be targeting a lot of unrelated keywords and you might end up getting phone calls from people who have no interest in hiring a plumber. So we wanna make sure all of our keywords that we're targeting are highly relevant. So we have them all here. All of them are phrase match keywords that we're targeting. So let's scroll down here and let's create our call ad. So first things first is our phone number here. We're gonna choose our country. And then what you need to do is make sure you put your verification URL. So we're gonna copy this URL from our contact us page and we're gonna paste it right there. So now we have our verification URL here. We don't need to add a final URL since we're just trying to drive phone calls. We're gonna have an advertisement that looks like this. And when someone clicks it, it's gonna call our business. So let's come down here and create multiple advertisements. Let's start with headline one. For headline one, let's do something like your Nashville plumber. Okay, so headline two, let's do something like call us today. Okay, so pretty simple, your Nashville plumber, call us today. We're gonna end up creating three different advertisements. So you wanna use different ad copy on all of them. So for business name, this is gonna be the same. Let's just say our business name is Surfside Plumbing. So you can see right here, we have call our number, Surfside Plumbing, your Nashville plumber, call us today. Now let's enter a few description lines. For these, I'm gonna keep the same two description lines for all the advertisements. I would recommend testing some different descriptions, but let's just enter a few description lines here. Okay, so we have all of our ad copy here for our first advertisement. So we have our verification URL, where our phone number is, Surfside Plumbing, call us today, your Nashville plumber. And then what we have is our description line one. We have call Surfside Plumbing. We can fix any plumbing problem you are experiencing. 10 plus years in business, fast service. So you just wanna have some different things that will encourage people to call your business where they're gonna feel better about calling you. Obviously, if you have good reviews and different things like that, put any type of selling point about your business in your description line so that people, any of the hurdles people have where they say, okay, I don't know if I can trust this company, build some trust by showing how long you've been in business, how many five-star reviews you have, some customer testimonials, whatever you can use to kind of sell people and build some of that trust. Now next is gonna be conversion action. So for this, we're gonna choose 90 second phone call and we're gonna click on done. So now we have one advertisement created here. So what we wanna do is create another advertisement. So all we're gonna do is change our headlines a little bit. So let's say 24 seven plumbing services. Okay, so 24 seven plumbing services will fix any leak or clog. We're gonna keep the description lines the same. You can obviously change those around with some of the different advertisements you have. Our business name will stay the same and we have our verification URL at the top here, our phone number and the same conversion action. So we're gonna click on done. So now we have two separate advertisements. Let's create one more. So let's do for our two headlines. Okay, so for the last one, top rated plumber in Nashville, fast and affordable service. So obviously if you have a plumbing problem, you want people to get there quickly and you wanna make sure they service any issue you have. So we have top rated, affordable service, fast, all the different things that people might have issues with. So we're gonna click on done and now we have three different advertisements created. So let's click on next. And now what we need to do is use some ad extensions. So call out extensions would be a perfect for this campaign. 
If we keep scrolling down, we can choose some of these other extensions. Structured snippet extensions would be perfect. We can show some of the different services we offer. You might wanna do a price extension that would allow people to see how much you charge, whether it's just a price to come out, an average price. So you can enter some price extensions there for specific services. And you can also do promotion extensions, maybe something like call us today and get 10% off. So I'm not gonna enter any of these call extensions here. Pretty self-explanatory, call it extension is gonna add more information to your ad. You could do things like 24 hour phone service. Down here at the bottom, I have 10 plus years in business. So we'll, ha we'll add these ones here. Okay, so we have four different call out extensions. We're not gonna do an image, image extension. If we come to structured snippets, so I actually did another one over here. So service catalog, plumbing, leak detection, emergency services. You could do hot water heater repair, really anything you want. So we have a few different extensions here. So we're ready to click on next. Okay, so let's set our average daily budget. Let's say I wanna spend $3,000 over the course of a month. Let's just set our budget at $100 per day. So we're gonna be trying to drive phone calls all day long with this campaign. So we have a $100 daily budget and we can click on next. Okay, so the one suggestion they gave us is to create more ad extensions. So we could always do that in the future after we launch our campaign. For now, we're just gonna keep it as is. We have our campaign name, our campaign type search, objective leads, our goal is 90 second phone calls. Our bidding strategy, we're maximizing conversion value with a target return on ad spend of 150%. So networks, it's search, search partners, targeting Nashville. We have this audience here for plumbing services. Again, we're not just limited to that audience, we're just observing how that audience performs when they do type in our keywords and click on our ads. Nine total keywords we're targeting, you would obviously wanna build out more keywords depending on all the services you offer and all the services you want phone calls for. Ads, so three different call ads, we'll make sure we're getting the best possible results because Google Ads is gonna continue to rotate our ads and serve the ones that drive the most leads. So we have some extensions here, our $100 per day budget. Let's publish our campaign. Okay, and that's it right now. You can see our ad group for plumbing services. So if we click on our ad group and we go into ads and extensions, you can see here the ad type here are call ads. So we have three separate call ads. If we click on the plus sign, we can create another call ad here. Since we're just focusing on phone calls, it's just gonna allow us to create a call ad. And now we have, if we come back to our all campaign screen, is this Surfside Plumbing campaign is a call only Google Ads campaign. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments section. This is perfect for people who are just trying to drive phone calls for their business. That's your only focus. Create a campaign like this and you can really focus on phone calls and phone call leads. Thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.